Hi, I'm Barb. Welcome to my craft studio. I have a haul to share with you today. I went to Meyer, Target, Walmart, and Joanne. I actually went to Joanne twice, but I only bought something once. Um, I bought some items. Just trying to get a hold of them here. Saturday when we went out, they had their um, threads. Buy three, get three. These are five of them. I also bought a white one, but I've already put that in the machine to use it because my other white one ran out. So I was trying to think of the different holidays coming up and what thread colors I might need for those when I bought those. So that's why I went with those. Um, I believe these were 40% off when I bought them Saturday. I bought this one from Mrs. Smith Sparkle and Company with the pineapple. I actually thought you, if you leave this off, you could use that as an egg and then use these and have like an Easter egg. I might try it next year at Easter time. And then I bought two of these ones. I'm going to put one in my birthday challenge giveaway. So, And then they had their um, papers 20 for three on Saturday. Now these ones are priced $1.99. So they really shouldn't qualify for that, but they were pictured in the email. So I decided I was going to try it. And if it hadn't rung up, I was going to say, well, you pictured them. So I think you ought to honor that. But they actually did ring up at the, I think it ended up 15 cents a piece at the 20 for three. So I bought the one, the purple one with the foiled polka dots. So it's kind of a, what do they call it? They call it candy necklace. But it's kind of um, teal or turquoise. I can't decide whether I see more blue or I see more green. <laughs> and then this one is a green. I think they call this one Easter grass, yeah. And then I got a black one. I bought a lot of the ones with the foil dots because I figured since they pictured them in the ad, I wanted to get as many of those while they were accepting that price as possible. I kind of wish I could have afforded to buy more because I would have bought the red one. Because I bought five of each color. This one's kind of pink. And then this one, I believe, in the red color was marked 99 cents. Now, it's weird because they have this in other colors, and some of the colors are marked 99 cents, and some are marked $1.99, so that doesn't make any sense at all to me. I was trying to read what it said. Wax lips marble. That's what it is, wax lips. I couldn't make out the wax. That one and this one is wax lips plaid and the plaids I believe were the same way some were marked 99 cents and some were marked $1.99 so I picked up those because I wanted to have some I like that these are nice the basil cardstock is so sturdy Meyer neither one of them looks crafty <laughs> but I did buy them for crafty purposes I bought baby wipes which I bought these for cleaning off my Cricut mats, especially my fabric ones, between uses, try to get those ex all those threads off. I did make some, but the directions I followed had aloe vera in it, and it almost like removes the sticky. I'm trying to keep washing them to see if I can get that aloe off the top. If I make them again, I'm going to leave the aloe out and test it on an old mat and see how it works. And aluminum foil, which I bought this because I keep a ball of foil in my little holder here in my Cricut. And I poke my blade in it every now and then. And I also flatten up a sheet just like this. And every now and then I roll my rotary blade from the Cricut maker over that. It helps sharpen it back up so I get more use out of it. And I know I'm still going to have to replace the blades, but... At least that way I don't have to do it quite as often. At Walmart, they still have the fabric quarters 
This Walmart had a lot of different colors of these. I, I kind of wish I'd bought a, more of them, but I was trying to behave, so I only picked up one of the clearance ones. I figured if I, when I go, if they still have them on clearance, I'm going to try to pick up another color here and there. So I picked up the gray because I know I don't have a lot of grays in fabric quarters, so I thought this one would be nice. They had a really nice um, kind of sky type blue, and I don't have any real light blue, so I almost bought that one, but I didn't. And then they had some patriotic, it says Emma and Mila, patriotic fabric quarters for 97 cents each. So I picked up four of those. I picked up this one with the blue background with the fireworks, this one with the blue background and the patriotic pinwheels. This one, I'm not sure, maybe like bunting. Maybe I put it this way. Yeah, kind of reminds me of patriotic bunting. On the back, it goes the other direction, which is why I kept doing it backwards. And then this blue one with the stars. Those were the ones I liked the best. And then I picked up this foam craft cushion, which is 22 by 22 by 2. I need the cat bench that I'm going to work on recovering. I need a new foam. This is actually thicker than what I was looking at getting, but I think that'll be fine. Probably be better anyways because the screws come up through the underside and this way it'll definitely cover it. It measures 12 by 24 but I couldn't find anything close to that so I think I'm just going to cut this in half because I actually have two of those cat bench window perches and maybe I'll redo both of them eventually but I definitely wanted to redo the one because she uses it a lot and it's really worth thin and the cover doesn't even want to stay in the, on anymore. So I'm hoping it'll be one inch off one way and two inches the other way. I'm hoping maybe to kind of center it across that. And maybe that'll keep it, it'll be plenty. I think it might be big enough to use that way. I'm hoping that's one of my projects. I gotta try to figure out how to do that. And then at Target, they had some of the new stuff in the Bullseye Playground. Now mine didn't have any of the Mother's Day theme stuff yet. Mother's Day is only, what, yesterday, maybe 10 days away? Um, <laughs> maybe from today, because I think it falls on the 12th, and today's the 2nd, so yesterday was the 1st. So still, you know, they have, they have less than two weeks, and none of it's out. By the time they get it out there, they're going to be putting it on clearance. But anyways, I bought these birthday stickers and these birthday stickers and I am putting both of these into my giveaway. So I'm adding to that. Where am I at minute wise? I am going to go ahead. I got my first entry to my um, birthday challenge. I'm going to cover it, but got my first entry. It's from Tina's Crafty Life. I will try to remember to link her channel. If nothing else, I'll have it in the info box, but I'll try to remember to also do a little link, pop-up link type one. But anyways, it says, whisking you a happy birthday. That's cute. And then it says, hope you have a wonderful birthday from Tina at Tina's Crafty Life. Sugar, flour, eggs, and more, a birthday cake, and candles galore. So that's the first entry into my birthday challenge. So gave me a little Rolodex card with her address on it. That's nice. I can add that into with my memory decks cards. I can put it in there. And then a sheet of stickers with watermelon, pineapples, and cherries. So, so far that's the only entry I have. So, um, my birthday is the 5th, but I am accepting entries. I think I made the 12th as the deadline, and I'll probably do the drawing sometime later that week because I will be out of town on the 12th and 13th because I have a doctor appointment on the 13th. So I'll do the drawing sometime after that and I'll any that have arrived by the time I do the drawing will count. Um, I will try to link that video in here as well. Um, I'm celebrating my 55th birthday. To enter all you have to do is send a signed birthday card like this. It can be homemade, it can be store-bought, doesn't matter, just a signed birthday card. And you'll be entered into the drawing. I will link that video where I show what's in it. I have added some things to it in 
haul videos as I went. Like this time I added the stickers and the stamps and dies. Those, these are being added into that drawing. And I've added a few a few things that I haven't shared and then some things that I have shared in other videos. So be sure to check that out and send, send me a card and enter and I'll catch you later.